when I first remember there was a cabin here and another cabin here and that's this is where our our cabin was and our neighbors were taking care of us had to keep an eye on me and my sister Julia and uh, I to me I can't remember I can't even remember inside of our cabin I only remember outside I only remember playing outside and um, dad was making a canoe. He had this U-shaped plane. He was uh, um, carving the canoe and uh, he says, I'm going to go and have lunch and you, you don't step on this. You come, don't come here. But he laid that down and he had it up facing upwards. And what, it, what do you think I did? I just, I was running and playing and I went and stepped on it almost cut my whole big toe off. And my poor dad had to rush and get, go down to Couch and Bay and ask him to phone for, for a taxi to get me to the hospital right away and get that stitched. So I was wobbling around here and crutches. It took a long time for my toe to heal. So dad went through a, a, lot, a lot with me, um, telling me to behave and just listen to him but I didn't I didn't listen you know I just always not paying attention to him and I I must have gave him a hard time I must have really gave him a hard time and now uh, that one day Julia said let's go get, dig clams for dad and I said oh, oh uh. I said oh no dad said to stay inside but no, she was determined we were going to go dig clams. This has been dredged because of the wharf here. The beach used to go way out. And uh, it was a beautiful beach here. And uh, on low tide, we'd go way out there and we'd be playing, playing on a beach. And, and that, that's when we, Julia said, we'll dig clams for dad. And I remember Dad, when he, when he got inside, I remember him crying. He had tears, big tears coming down. I was wondering how come he was crying. And I don't remember nothing after. He was, I, all, all I remember was that he must have been so happy that we went to dig clams and had it. My sister made fire in the cook stove and, and she must have knew what to do to have enough water in that pot to steam it and cook it for him, have it ready when he got home from work. And I remember Dad crying. He was just thanking us for his, his dinner. So that, that's my, my memories. We used to go, we used to go up here. There's a trail back here and we'd come up on a, on the highway up there, and uh, we'd uh, collect bottles, uh, pop bottles, and I think it was only two cents a bottle in that, those days, or we, I don't remember, it. but we'd go to that corner store way up the hill, walk up there, and then we'd sell our, sell our bottles and uh, trade it for penny candies. Then we'd come home eating our candy and just all content. And that's, that's what I remember. And then the berries, the wild blackberries, the thimble berries, the wild blueberries, uh, the lila. There used to be a lila here. There isn't here. It's not here now because of this, all this washing down in the winter time. All this came down. This used to be really wide open here. But all this must have slid down and uh, that's, that's about it, I guess. You want to show them yeah, the berries? Yes, the berries here is what we had. There was lots here. And that's what we, me and my sister used to pick. You could see these beautiful berries here. The 
this one here. See this? Oh, dropped. Lost it. I was going to give it to you, Matt. There's one here. Hopefully it won't drop. That's just, this is kind of crumbled into little pieces. But that's what we used to get a whole handful of that and we used to eat that. Uh, <laughs> we used to have a handful and just uh, eat it faster than we picked it. You know, there was lots here, all along here, up, up the hill, in the bush there, on the trail. And, and um, it's so delicious. Really delicious. Does it make you think of your sister? My sister, my dad. So there was only three of us that lived here. Our neighbors had to look after us when he'd be at work. And even the lady at the store, uh, Betty White, she was just a young girl. But she'd always come to the doorway and say, May, Julia, go, you girls go home now. Get off the road. You know, and everyone here in Couch and Bay, you know, kept an eye on us when we were little. Didn't realize, you know, what we were always getting into trouble. Yeah. And you know, the being safe, with the whole community here in Couchin Bay watching over us, you know, to think of everything that's happening today, the violence and everything, you know, and so, so glad that we were, we were okay. If we could find a whole patch of these, it would be so nice. The wonderful taste of it. There's such a little tiny berry. <laughs> So sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Hi, <laughs> Chica. <laughs>